look at the next six months, what are you expecting for Cirrus from here on out and, and can we hope for more positive territory? We, we can hope for certainly more positive territory. The next six months is a function of the last six months. We were able to change not only processes in manufacturing and optimize manufacturing and our, our overall cost of production, but we changed, uh, we've spent 12 months changing all of our after sales and aftermarket processes. We have a lot more to do, but we're, we've changed those processes and those investments in more efficient processes and more uh, effective tools. We've, we added tools, we changed people, we changed processes. Those are what's allowing us to reap the, the rewards today. We're seeing the effect of, uh, of a better sales process unearth prospects and generate new prospects for us. And as a result, our traditional customer base, uh, individual airplanes to each customer, as well as new markets are opening up to us around the world. And that's what's giving us great visibility in the next few months, but great visibility for the next 12 months as well as we see the demand in certain parts of the world materialize that aren't necessarily uh, just in the U.S. Well, with the coming fall and winter, the time that would normally be soft for GA sales, you have one specific advantage that's been available now since the first of the year, and that's Fiki. But Fiki presents such incredible challenges in regards to training and supporting and so forth. Uh, how do you feel you're, uh, are you prepared for what's going to be coming up when the first generation of Cirrus Fiki birds goes into real life <laughs> ice, snow, and God help us? Well, it's always an interesting time of year when the, you know, the, the winter season begins. We have a habit of trying to remind our owners and the aviation community at large that you know ice is a serious threat and we have accidents each year that are a result of icing and we try to continually remind people to, to use good judgment about that. Uh, yes, the, the, the new product, the known ice capability is a huge capability benefit and I think it will end up being materially uh, safer for our pilots overall because the system increases in, in, pro or in utility are dramatic. But we can't rest on that. It still comes down to good judgment. And so we're going to t continue to drive uh, a message out there that says, you know, use good judgment. Don't think because you have a better tool that, that good judgment is, uh, is no longer necessary. One of the things that's been characteristics of, a, of, of the entire series line, G1, G2, G3, has just been this constant series of improvement, upgrade, and so forth. But are there thoughts on the horizon about the next generation? Well, there are some thoughts, but but I'll say first and foremost, we don't have big changes on the horizon. What, th there's two reasons why. Number one, my philosophy would suggest that you, you evolve the airframe at a slower rate. What does that do? That uh, doesn't, that allows you to preserve uh, all the economics of the business, whether it be pricing and so on and so forth. It, it serves the consumer because it doesn't erode the aftermarket values of the airplane. Mm -hmm. And third, it lowers our overall production costs. And in a business that's as competitive as ours, that has difficult uh, margins, you need to have very uh, cost-efficient structure. And in order to do that, you have to evolve it, uh, evolve the product at a logical cycle. There's a reason why automotive companies have three or four year cycles to their product. They don't damage the aftermarket value and they don't invest so much that they're spinning through costs each and every year that they are that are unsustainable. So that's my philosophy. But it's, it's necessary to do that, I think, because of the obvious environment that we're in, the economy that we're in. And we ought not to think that that economy is going to change in the short term. At best, if we're on the improvement, it's a long, slow climb because we're still seeing a lot of difficulty in many areas of the country and the economy in general. Aero TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.